Every October for the past four years, we Arlingtonians and our neighbors have been the recipients of a gift that is the Arlington International Film Festival. For four days at a stretch, we can catch a glimpse of the world through the eyes of those largely beyond our borders, outside our worldview. This year, the Best Feature Documentary Award went to Bozzo, the teacher from Tbilisi. It chronicles the inspiring life of Bozzo Koroshelli born in the Soviet Republic of Georgia in 1931. To label him a musician, a sculptor, and a music teacher, while not lies exactly, would be significantly underselling both him and this film's emotional weight. Joining me today to discuss Bozzo, the film and the man, is award-winning producer and director Tom Walters, responsible for some 50 documentaries and educational programs, including Bozzo most recently. Welcome, Tom. Oh, thank you, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Um, Bozo opened this year's Arlington International Film Fest. Um, how was it received? Very well. We've, you know, it's actually mirrored what's happening at other film festivals. The audience uh, just tends to have an emotional reaction to the film mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of sh plot sh shifts in the film, even though it's a documentary, a lot of uh, emotional moments um, sure. because his life was quite an extraordinary journey, uh, yep. which we can get into. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. and, and, and let's do that actually, I mean, to give people a sense of what, what terrain this covers. Yeah. Um, back to the beginning, that mm -hmm. where you intersected with Bozo first, um, what did you find so compelling about him, his life story? Um, what about that story sort of said, oh yeah, significant commitment of time and energy um, is worthy to, to document this this life story. Well, you know, I first met him. He taught my daughters violin. They were six and nine, and I knew immediately. You know, he was unique, and my kids were getting a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, receiving lessons with him. But the more I learned about him, his story. You know, I'd hear from other people. Oh man, what a story he has! You know, mm -hmm. he was came from the Soviet uh, Republic of Georgia. Um, his father was a famous actor who. And Stalin would actually come to his father's performances, so mm -hmm. he met Stalin as a boy mm -hmm. shortly after um, Stalin had his father executed. Right. Um, so his life started in such a dramatic way. Um, you know, later he went, uh, was considered a son of a dissident, so he had no rights. Eventually they put him on the front lines. He was captured by the Nazis. Mm -hmm. So there are these stories that were starting to emerge, and I just thought, wow, what an extraordinary... But not just that, who he is as a person is so extraordinary. His mm -hmm. method of teaching and his positive uh, attitude towards life after all he's mm -hmm. gone through is remarkable, yeah. Right. Well, and, and you, certainly, you certainly refer to some of those threads that are very compelling, sort of life trajectory threads. Um, childhood meeting with Stalin, as, as you say, digging trenches for the Soviet Army in the Second World War, uh, years as a, as a prisoner of the Germans. Um, one thing you didn't say there, the, the house guest of, uh, of Hollywood star actress uh, Janet Gaynor for yeah. a year and a half, right? <laughs> um, but the story certainly that we return to, uh, that I return to, certainly you do in the film, Bozo does over the course of his life, is the 20 minutes that he spent with his father mm -hmm. um, in their last, what, what b became their last meeting. Um, very pregnant with life lessons. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us can you give us the backstory to that? Uh, you 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 remark that his father was a dissident. Um, well, he was called a dissident. He really, I mean, basically, he was an actor in the Rustavelli Theater, which was the the great theater at the time in Georgia. And mm -hmm. uh, the theater director Sandra Akmatelli, mm -hmm. who was actually quite famous, um, you know, they were asked to only do plays that supported the party line, and they said, mm -hmm. "We're a theater. We're going to do what." what we like. Um, so they weren't, you know, hardcore activists or anything like that. They were just trying to do what theater does. And right. and, and and by he, him participating as, as a lead actor there, mm -hmm. he said, I'm with Akhmatelli. And uh, so Akhmatelli was executed in, yeah. in a very public way. Right. And so was his father in a more private way, but there, uh, yeah. So, so he gets, he's, he's essentially in, in prison. Mm -hmm. uh, the the, the Bozzo's father, um, and he gets the opportunity to spend some time with him. However, yes, he was granted twenty minutes to go see his father, which is okay. 
kind of extraordinary right. with his mom. They went down to meet right. his father, and so you know this this moment is just as you can imagine would be yeah. so intense. You yeah. know, you have 20 minutes to say goodbye essentially to your son, right. and so he tried to impart as much wisdom on as he could. You know, right. and right. one of the ones that really sticks with him was you know when you go to bed, always ask yourself, "Have I done enough?" Mm -hmm. Which now, and you look at the full scope of his life, yeah. and it's wow because. It, his, he's legendary in how many lives he's touched, and he continues to touch. He's 92 years old, right. and he's still teaching music. He's still teaching sculpting. Yeah. Right. I, I asked you uh, when when we first met the, today um, if you're a father, and the reason I asked that is because I'm wondering, as I viewed the film, mm -hmm. um, I, I started thinking, geez, okay, not that I want to have 20 minutes to impart whatever wisdom I've gathered over the course of my life, but it did make me think that there's an interesting project to mm -hmm. what, what would be the lessons that I would suggest. Yeah. And I was wondering if you as a father, uh -huh. who has, uh, uh, you've had significant time uh, talking with Bozzo, mm -hmm. if you've developed anything similar to a 20 minute conversation with one of your children over what you hold as most important in life? Well, that's, yeah, that's a great question because <laughs> that, that would be an interesting international project to um, yeah. <laughs> have, every, uh, have right. every parent decide right. to have 20 minutes with their child and right. do that role play because right. what would you tell your child? I mean, yeah. um, I mean, it's made me think about cherishing every day that you have mm -hmm. and the relationships around you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I feel with my kids, I, I, I do try and impart what's most important mm -hmm. value wise in their life and mm -hmm. and uh, you know not wait till I'm in a situation where I may or may not be able to do that at the end of my life sure um, by the looks of it you know there are there are certainly there are points in the film where you see one of Bozzo's students mm -hmm. let's say at age nine mm -hmm. and then we see them five years later at age 14 playing yeah for instance um, You've devoted a significant amount of time to this project um, across years, uh, as well as across continents, I should say, um, as, you, as you accompanied him to Georgia mm -hmm. a, at one point. Um, what has the process been like for you, both, both uh, professionally as well as, as personally? Well, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting journey. And, you know, Bozo, you know one of Bozo's teachings is never give up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, there were times where, my gosh, how long is this going to take? Because it's a nonprofit film, which meant we would raise money, you know, fifty dollars at a time sometimes. Mm -hmm. And here we're trying to make a world-class documentary. Uh, so that's really what took so long. But, but the flip side of that is we had a lot of jewels come out of that, mm -hmm. you know, that long waiting period. We had many scenes that were shot the last year that were some of the best scenes in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Of course, shooting the kids five years later was not in our plans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We decided to use it, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we just had a review in the New York Times, and they mentioned it. Hollywood Reporter came out yesterday. They talked about the five years. I mean, yeah, yeah. it really makes an impact on people. It's, sure. it's neat to see the kids' development, right. but it also makes an impression about you know, the breadth of the film. Yeah. Right. Um, currently, uh, Bozzo is going around film festivals. Mm -hmm. Um, headed to Los Angeles, I think you said next. Yeah, that's actually a theatrical. We, you know, we had our theatrical, uh, official theatrical release um, last week mm -hmm. in um, New York, mm -hmm. and then it's going to Los Angeles for its Los Angeles premiere. Okay. Um, and then some other theaters probably, but we're also finishing up a festival run. We've been at the festival for over a year, okay. going to festivals, and it'll be in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and then Napa okay. Valley. Um, the the final the final sequences of the film focused on Bozo Fest, uh -huh, yeah? yeah, 2008, sort of a celebration of of uh, Bozo's teaching and certainly in a larger sense his his life. Um, how did that opportunity to be in the midst of of so many of his former students mm -hmm. um, sort of influence uh, uh, or, or or give you a richer sense? of maybe who he was to oh, yeah. a wider swath of people and maybe color the way the, the film might have been edited or you presented particular things in, oh, yeah. in a documentary. Yeah. Well, you know, that came about because Kent Nagano, his most famous student, who's mm -hmm. 
um, you know, six, won six Grammys and mm -hmm. conducts the Montreal Symphony and whatnot. He, that was his idea, why don't we have a reunion? That's how I'll put my shoulder to support, yeah. you know, this, this film. And mm -hmm. that's what we did. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah, I was very affected by that because I hadn't met a lot of these people that they've talked about. True. You know, they came from Australia, Germany, yeah. Los Angeles, they came up and then they started telling their stories. Yeah. And I was, wow, I was floored, you know. Some people model their whole, a lot of their decisions in their life after what, how he taught right. and the profession they went into and how they, how they think about things. And he just had this amazing impact on people, far, far greater than I had thought. It, it seems to me to, to call Bozzo a, a, a musician, a, a teacher, a, is sort of like, uh, might be a bit of overstatement, but a bit like calling the Dalai Lama a Tibetan monk. Right. right? <laughs> of course he is, but. right. And then there's more. Um, is there anything else you can imagine um, being of interest to to or or helpful to viewers uh, to get a sense of of the documentary of Bozo's life and its impact on on people who he touched uh, across nine decades and then some? Well, I mean, he has a book out, an autobiography. Which, okay. Um, a teaching life in music. So. Right, okay. exactly, and yeah. that's available online. I think you just have to search for it, and uh, I think if you go to our Facebook, we have a link on how to okay. how to get the book. But that's, you know, that's, uh, and you know, I should really acknowledge, you know, when you make a film, it's not you just making a film. Mm -hmm. They call me the filmmaker, and you know, but right. it's really a team. And sure. uh, fortunately, um, some of them are coming, you know, at the festival. Mm -hmm. um, Randy Barras, the the editor. Uh, Extraordinary, and uh, Hilary Grant, a writer. David Thayer was a producer. Simon Nylander, mm -hmm. uh, cinematographer. We all. It, it's really a team effort when you make a film. It's a collaborative media. Sure. So um, I always like to acknowledge them. Absolutely. Uh, I, I would imagine that as a filmmaker embarking upon a project like this, you had a particular vision mm -hmm. for how things might turn out. Uh, years later, hours of footage later. How do you feel about the project that you that you came on came to, and, and finished up with? Yeah, well, I'm I'm actually very very pleased uh, mm -hmm. with the project uh, for multiple reasons. So one was, we wanted to capture the essence of this man, mm -hmm. extraordinary life, mm -hmm. and viewers who have seen it uh, have said that uh, his students. He said, "Boy, you really captured mm -hmm. Bozo. Nice. That touches my heart." Um, the other thing is the audience response. We won five audience awards. You make films for audiences, right? It's not just for yourself, right. Right. and that is, uh, you know, has been a wonderful thing. Really, the greatest gratitude, uh, enjoyment I get out of it sure. is is talking to audience members after films because they're they're very moved, uh, and uh, and so that was important. And then more recently, it's been a critical success. The New York Times called it. You know, it's the critics' picks this this right. week, um, and and other um, you know periodicals are coming out with very positive reviews, which. That's icing on the cake. I mean, sure. I really love that the audience loves the film and that it moves people. Right. And so um, it actually has, has exceeded my expectations, I think, or at least I had a high hopes for it because mm -hmm. I knew the story was extraordinary and I was working with a great team of people. So I knew we'd have, we had a, a potential for a, a really great movie. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it seems to have borne fruit, so. Sure. And uh, yeah. Very good. Well, it, the the, the, as, as I said, the, uh, when, I, when I heard of the f documentary and I figured there may be a chance that I could talk with you, I, I, was, I absolutely jumped at it. Hmm. Um, certainly, I mean, I'm a wonderful job, of course, right? He would be a person to, uh, to frame a, a documentary around. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad you were there to do it. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for taking time to speak with us today. All right. Thank you. Appreciate All right. it. We're advised to choose our friends wisely because their impact on our lives is significant. The same could be said for our media, the music we sing along to, the news we ingest, the films we watch. If you're looking for a film that might remind you what matters in your life, that confirms that perhaps there is hope for we humans, I'd recommend that you find the Bozzo wherever you can find it, and I do hope it comes out soon. It proves a worthy friend. For Tom Walters, I'm Peter Bermudis for Arlington Public News.